Hi everyone, I'm Natalie from Cantilever, and welcome to this Balance and Beam session and our latest collaboration with Rejuvenate Physio. Remember, all our previous sessions are available to catch up on the Cantilever YouTube channel. We're delighted to be joined by Louise from Rejuvenate Physio, along with Mercedes, Lissy, and Aaliyah. We absolutely love to see how you're getting on with the sessions. So again, we're going to be running a giveaway all week where the winner will be picked at random from social media posts, tagging Cantilever and Rejuvenate Physio and using the hashtag Balance and Beam. If you have a private account, please direct messages with your videos or pictures. You could win a Rejuvenate Physio goodie bag and a £50 Cantilever voucher. Have a great session, everybody. Thanks, Natalie. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's Balance and Beam inspired session. Equipment is not essential for today's workout. However, if you have a cantilever wobble board or a cantilever beam queen complex, then just have them close by and ready to use for later. Before we start, make sure that you clear plenty of space around you so there is nothing close by for you to fall on or trip over. If you are using a cantilever wobble board, make sure firstly that it is placed on a firm, flat surface. Secondly, that you have a wall or a strong object such as a table close by to help steady or rebalance yourself if needed. And finally, place the center or the ball of your foot or feet in the middle of the wobble board. Don't stand on the edges. Always listen to your body and only do what feels comfortable. Remember to focus on the quality of your movements, not how many repetitions you do. If you feel too unsteady or wobbly at any time, all you have to do is take a moment to rebalance yourself or step off your wobble board and when you're ready, go again. Have a drink with you in case you get thirsty and remember it's okay to take a break and rest at any time. Okay, is everyone ready to start? First, we need to do a cardiovascular warm up to get your heart pumping and your blood circulating around your body. So let's all have a stand up and we will begin by doing 30 seconds of a boxer shuffle. So knees are bent, arms are pumping and you step your right leg to the left then your left leg to the left and then the other way. Let's go, 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 boxer shuffle. That's it. Low and long, a bit more, Lissy. That's it. So go more over to the side for me, Lissy. Very good. That's it. Fast movements, girls. For this one, you're pretending you're not gymnasts. Fantastic. Get those legs and arms moving. Okay. Let's then move on to our diagonal pull downs to our knees. So arms up in the air, pull one elbow down to the opposite knee. Let's go. Brilliant. And go as quickly as you can. Pick up the pace. Get moving. Let's wake these stomach muscles up and your legs. Stretch at the top. Brilliant. Keep going. That's it. Who can move those legs a little bit faster? Fantastic. Now we're going to change onto multi-directional leg kicks. So we're going to have our hands probably on our hips. You're going to kick the right leg forwards low, then the left leg forwards, and then each leg out to the side, then each leg behind. Let's go. So kick forwards, kick, kick, out to the side and behind. Brilliant. Keep going through that for me. Remember, stretch those knees, point those toes. Fantastic. So it's about being quick and tight. A few more seconds of that for me, girls. Brilliant stuff. Okay, let's move on to heel flicks. So hands behind your back by your glutes and you want to kick your heel towards your bottom. Off we go. Fantastic. Pull in those cores, try and keep your hips nice and open. 
Remember, it's always good to point our toes when they're off the floor. So we should all start to feel our hearts pumping a little bit faster now. Amazing. Next warm up exercise is rebound jumps around the four points of a square. So imagine there's a square drawn on the floor and you're going to hop to air, jump to every corner. Okay, let's go. So jump forwards, jump sideways, backwards and across. Good. And you can change direction if you want to. You can stay going in the same direction. Keep those knees nice and tight. Use your Achilles to push off the floor. Well done. A few more seconds for me, girls. Keep going. Brilliant, okay, let's try some spotty dogs with quarter turns. So, who wants to demonstrate? Jump one leg forwards, one leg back. Good, and then turn, well done, and repeat, let's go. Keep going, good jobs. So, change both legs back to parallel and quarter turn. Super. So we're starting to add in a change of direction for all of our gymnastics work. Very nice, stretch those knees, point those toes. Try and make it quick but controlled. Absolutely brilliant. Two exercises to go. Let's do some fast sprinting on the spot. Get those arms pumping, knees and feet moving nice and fast. Imagine the floor's really hot and you don't want to spend much time on it. Fantastic. Think about sprinting into those vaults or tumbles. Keep going, keep going. Move those legs super fast. Absolutely brilliant. The last exercise in this section is a burpee to a star jump, okay? So, down, hands onto the floor, jump your feet back. Good, jump your feet in between your hands and big jump up in the air to a star jump. Brilliant, keep going. How many can you guys do in those 30 seconds? So now I, the oxygen should be flowing to all of your muscle groups and they should be waking up. Few more seconds. Fantastic girls. That is part one of the warm up complete. So now it's time to wake up and activate your muscles a little bit more. And the first exercise in this circuit that we're going to do is a combined crab and monster walk around a square. So if everyone starts with their feet hip width apart and their knees slightly soft and bent with their kneecaps lined up with where their laces would be on their shoes. That's it, this is just soften those knees a bit, fantastic. Step forwards with one leg, step forwards with the other leg. Then step out to the side with one leg, out to the side with the other, backwards with one leg, backwards with the other, and finally over to the side so we're back to the beginning. Good job, girls. Let's go through that maybe three times more around the square. Everyone think on about keeping their core active, their kneecaps lined up with where their laces would be on their shoes. And if you did have some TheraBand, some elastic resistance material at home, you could have it on around your lower thighs to make this a little bit harder, okay? Brilliant work, girls. So focus on the quality of your movements, not how many you do. Keep those knees soft, body up nice and tall, core engaged, brilliant. Okay, so, Exercise number two will be a sumo squat with a pivot half turn. So if everyone steps their feet hip width apart and then go slightly wider, so we're in a sumo squat position in a ballet second position, okay? Bend your knees, keeping your kneecaps lined up with where your laces would be. As you straighten your knees, Drive up on one leg, pivot and do a half turn and lower back into a sumo squat. Good. Let's do four in each direction, okay? So think about being nice and strong, 
core engaged. Check your alignment that your knees are in the right place. Poor Mercedes doesn't have much room there. Precious is taking a break. There's a bit of a nap. Super, very nice girls. Last one, and then we'll come back to the middle. Okay, exercise number three is something that we call a clock face scooter tap. So if everyone starts by standing on their right leg, and you want to imagine that right leg is in the middle of a clock, okay? Your left leg is then going to reach forwards towards 12 o'clock and your right knee will bend. Come back to the start position, then scoot your left leg out towards nine o'clock, back in, and then behind you towards six o'clock. Fantastic, do that once more on that leg, and then, we will switch over and try the other side. Think about keeping your body up nice and tall, your stomach muscles tight, and you don't want to look like the leaning tower of Pisa, okay? No wobbling from side to side. Use your glutes to keep your kneecap lined up with where your laces would be if you had your trainers on. Very nice, girls. See how far you can reach those legs without losing control in the squat. Absolutely fantastic. Okay, exercise number four is a sideways lunge to then drive up onto that leg to a single leg balance position. So if everyone steps over to the right, bends the right knee to the left leg straight, then drive up tall on the right leg and hold your balance for a couple of seconds before going in the opposite direction over to the left. Fantastic. Let's do four on each side. So think about keeping everything nice and tight. So bodies are up nice and tall. Shoulders and hips are level and square when you're balancing on one leg. Very nice, Lissy. Look at that. Good lunge, Aaliyah, very good. Super Mercedes, so just a few more girls. So we're waking up all of these leg muscles before we do our circuits today. Brilliant. Okay, number five is a T-shape with a tap. So if everyone turns sideways on, stand on your right leg for me. Left leg slightly behind. You're going to hinge forwards like a seesaw. So your body will move forwards, your leg will lift up behind, keeping your support leg slightly bent. Then drop your toes of the left leg down to tap the floor and pick them back up in the air. Super, try four on one side, then four on the other. Remember, try and hit that T shape so your body is parallel to the floor. So Mercedes, you'll just want to look down slightly so your head's in line, fantastic. When you're down in the T, think about having a drink balanced on your lower back and you don't want to spill a drop of it, okay? Imagine it's the last glass of drink in the whole wide world. Brilliant. When you've done four or five on one leg, switch on and tr over and try the other side. That's it, Mercedes. Just even go a little bit lower with your body so it's parallel to the floor. This is excellent work, girls. Very nice control. And this is all to prepare ourselves for the sessions and circuits later on. Okay. Well, we just have two exercises left to go. The first is a double leg squat in parallel to a heel raise. So we're going to try eight of those. So feet hip width apart this time, toes facing forward, squat down. So your kneecaps track over where your laces will be, then straighten your knees, drive up onto your tiptoes, onto releve. Super, don't let those ankles roll. Lower your heels to the floor and repeat. Fantastic. Let's try eight to 10 of those super stuff. So Lissy, straighten those knees as you drive up onto your tiptoes. So try and do it together, beautiful. Very good. When you're up on releve, make sure you have weight through your big toe and your little toe so you're not rolling at your ankles. So you're nice and stable. 
Amazing. Okay. The last exercise is an inchworm to a diagonal mountain climber. And this is to activate your stomach muscles. So we're going to go down to pike fold, walk your hands forwards, so you end up in a front support position. Take your right knee to touch your left elbow, back to front support, then your left knee to touch your right elbow, and walk all the way back to pike stand, Good, and repeat. Maybe just try four of these, nice and controlled. Brilliant. Amazing, girls. Think about having a neutral plank as well. So you could do maybe a couple in a dish plank and a couple in a neutral plank. So we know that we have a good gymnastic shape for dish and also we can get a nice straight line for our handstands and bars. Brilliant. Okay. That is part two of warm up complete. Okay, so now it's time just to do a little bit more of a dynamic um, set of exercises so you really are prepared for the session ahead. We really want to wake those muscles up. And the first exercise we'll do in this circuit is a long jump forwards with small rebound jumps back, okay? So you jump as far forwards as you can, then small rebound jumps using your Achilles all the way back. Brilliant, let's do four to five of those. Wow, Mercedes, what a jump. As your poor dog snoozes next to you, Mercedes is working and the dog's having a snooze. Brilliant. Good job, Leah, very nice. So really push through those Achilles, get those feet off the floor and pointed as you go back. Good, one more. Amazing. Okay, exercise number two is a skater jump hop. So if you stand on your left leg, you stride long and low over to the right, land on that leg and then hop up in the air, land and go straight back over to the left hand side, okay? You may find one leg easier than the other and that's okay. Just stride as far across or hop as high as you can without losing control. So try and keep your hips nice and square and level, your kneecaps lined up with where your laces would be on your shoes. That's it girls, brilliant job. One more, drill. Okay, the final exercise is tucked hops. So let's start on our right leg. You're going to hop up in the air and drive that knee and thigh towards your chest. We'll do three to five and then hold the landing for three to five seconds. Like you're doing the most beautiful landing out of a tumble. Okay, let's go. Up, 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 good, and hold. Who's square and level? Beautiful, okay, swap over onto the other side. As high and get that knee as close to your chest as you can. And hold. Excellent recovery. Okay, so warm up's complete. Let's all take a quick break, have a drink, and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so it's now time to climb on our wobble boards and do our beam and balance inspired workout. For all the exercises today, we are just going to demonstrate them on one leg and it's your choice which leg you work. However, I'd really suggest you go away and work the other leg so you've practiced on the other side, so you are as strong, stable and symmetrical on the right leg as well as the left leg, okay? It's always good to practice both sides. So the girls are going to climb onto their wobble boards and they're going to start sideways on and they will choose which foot they place in front of the other. That's their choice, okay? They are then going to rise up onto their tiptoes, bend their knees, keeping high on releve, slowly lower their heels to the floor and straighten their knees. So if, and they'll then repeat. So it's up onto tiptoes, keeping your knees straight at the top, 
bend your knees, lower your heels to the floor and straighten your knees. Let's see if you can try a few more of those girls up to 10. Keep your core beautifully tight and engaged. Think about the connection between your rib cage and tummy so your rib cage isn't sticking too far out. Try not to let your ankles roll so you don't want to feel all your weights on your little toe or the outside of your foot. And if you'd like to make it slightly harder, you can always lift your arms up to a fifth position. But remember, we're after. The quality of the movement is not about the difficulty or how many you do. Absolutely amazing, girls. Okay, so exercise number two, just to confuse your brain a little bit, is the opposite of that. So one foot still is in front of the other, okay? You then bend your knees, keep your knees bent and rise to releve. Once you're up on releve, straighten your knees so you grow up tall and then slowly lower your heels back to the wobble board, keeping your knees straight. So it's bend knees, rise to releve, straighten knees, lower down to the start position. Amazing. It's your choice where those arms are. So let's try a few more. Absolutely fantastic, girls. You're trying to keep the wobble boards or your beam queen complex as still as possible, which is much easier said than done. You can always focus on a point straight in front of you, like you would to get your balance when you're on the beam. If you wobble a little bit, that's okay. But for the majority of the time, you're trying to keep your body nice and straight, your hips square and your shoulders level. Absolutely fantastic curls. Okay, so exercise three in this circuit is rising up onto your tiptoes with straight knees. So you rise up onto releve, swing your arms up by your ears as you do so. So both legs for me, Leah, that's it. And then you lower down onto one leg. So one foot comes up and you lower down to one side. So up on two legs, down to a landing position on one. So bring your arms out like you would for landing, okay? Try and hold that landing position for a couple of seconds so you feel nice and stable and secure. So we want strong landings from our jumps. And then go so up onto releve. Slowly lower down to a landing position. Drive those arms up as you go up and releve. Bring them out to land as you come down. We'll do one more. Everyone keep those core super strong and tight. Fantastic. Okay, so now we've woken up your calf muscles and challenged your balance a little bit. We're going to look at doing some modified ballet work, okay? The first exercise, will, for the first exercise, we'll start in parallel passe, okay? So, one leg will rise up to a passe position, so your toes are pointed, your foot's by your knee. You are then going to kick the leg out so the knee straightens and come back to the parallel passe position. If you feel stable and secure enough, as you kick out, you can rise onto releve on your support leg. Beautiful, let's see, and control back down. Let's try somewhere between 8 to 10 on each side. It's okay if you wobble, just try and bring yourself back to that neutral position. Super. As you kick out, let's straighten those knees. Brilliant. Okay, let's try that from a turned out passe position. So our knee starts pointing away from our body. So you kick the foot up by your opposite knee. The bent knee points away, you then kick out almost toward a box flip or straddle position and come back to the turned out passe. Super. It's your choice whether you feel stable enough to rise up onto relevant. 
as you kick out, think about keeping your hips nice and square so you're not twisting. Try not to look like the leaning tower of Pisa. So our bodies are nice and tall. So you can keep up a little bit straighter for me, Lynn. Much better. Good, we'll do a couple more. That's it. Really point those toes, stretch those knees as you kick out. Arms stretch from elbows to fingertips. Amazing. Okay. The final exercise in the circuit is moving between the two passe positions with a kick out. So if everyone starts in a parallel passe position on your chosen leg, brilliant. Core's tight, hips level. Swing your leg around to a turned out parallel passe position. Back to forwards, out to the side, and kick out. Good. Then forwards, side raise, forwards, kick out, and repeat. So every third time you're doing a kick out, so you alternate between kicking out in front and kicking out to the side. Remember, hips level and square. Imagine there are two car headlights on your hips and they're pointing straight in front. So we're using our hips to do the turnout and all of our glutes and turnout muscles. We're not twisting in our back and things like that. Keep your core beautifully strong. Point those toes. Lots to think about, I know. You're doing really well, girls. One more. Amazing. That's circuit one complete. Let's have a quick break and a drink. Okay, it is time for circuit number two. And we are going to start with some combined squat and kick work. So if everyone climbs onto their wobble board, stands sideways on, Remember, you need plenty of room around you for these types of exercises. It's your choice which leg you place in front of the other. Arms up by ears, so they're glued up nice and um, strong and tall, stretch through those elbows and fingertips. Squat down and you'll find that your heels come off as you squat down, so try and keep your body nice and high. Then we're going to kick your back leg up and forwards to a high kick as you stand. Beautiful, so fantastic. Let's try somewhere between eight to 10 of those. So lower down to the squat and explode up. So slowly down, fast high kick, stretching through that knee, pointing those toes. We want the judges to be able to take away as few marks as possible okay so think about keeping the core tight beautiful strong shapes and it's your back leg that kicks forwards and then returns to being the back leg in the squat again amazing well let Mercedes finish that one beautiful and let's go on to exercise number two so again we start with our arms up by our ears we lower down to a squat position. Beautiful, so you show head up, arms by ears, core nice and tight. You then allow your hands to lower to the wobble board and you push to pike fold, so your knees straighten. Brilliant, keep your balance, allow your chest to rise, keeping your arms by your ears to a half pike position, then open all the way up and rise up onto releve. Super, lower your heels as you go down through the squat and then you'll find your heels lift up at the bottom of the squat again. Hands onto the board, push to pike fold, show the half pike position, keeping that core strong, rise up to releve as you open your hips. Fantastic. Let's try a few more of those girls. So nice smooth fluid movements. Try and keep that board as still as possible. At the end when you're upright, think, lift that chin show off, be beautifully tight and strong. Amazing Mercedes, beautiful control. Very nice, Leah. 
Wow, Lissy, great stuff. Let's all have one more go and then we'll change. So, so you have to use your cores to keep your control here. Brilliant. Okay, we're going to do one final um, squat exercise and it's the opposite of the first one we did. So you choose which leg is in front of the other. We're going to squat down, keeping our body upright, our arms glued by our ears. As you stand up out of the squat, you kick your front leg behind, okay? Brilliant. So try and hit that nice square arabesque shape. So you don't want to be twisting, we don't want to come off the beam and control back down into the squat. If you can hold the arabesque and you can push up onto your tiptoes, absolutely fine. If it's hard to control, stay on flat foot as you kick. Entirely your choice. If you need to hold onto the wall to help a bit, that's okay. Just do what you can control. Let's have two more goes, girls. Beautiful work. So slow down and then explode up and hold that shape. Fantastic. Amazing. Okay. Let's do a little bit of leg strengthening through some three exercises and then we'll have another break. So the first exercise in this group is a forwards and back split squat lunge, which is a little bit of a mouthful. So you're going to start in the middle of your wobble boards. It's your choice which leg you choose to keep on the wobble board. Step one one leg forwards quite away, so a big step forwards, then bend your back knee, drop down to a split squat, keeping your body up nice and tall, core straight. As you drive out of the split squat, push back onto your leg that's on the wobble board, hold a back passe balance position for a couple of seconds, then step the leg behind you, so you end up on your tiptoes, drop the back knee down to the floor, and back up to the balance position. Good. As you come back to the balance position, think about the connection between your rib cage and tummy. So your core's nice and strong, your shoulders are square. Brilliant. And repeat as you feel able. As you do the split squats, just make sure your kneecap doesn't go further forwards than your toes, so it doesn't give you any pain. So you need to take quite a big step forwards and backwards and you alternate between the two positions. Fantastic. We'll do a couple more each. You may feel a bit wobblier in one direction than the other, and that's absolutely fine. Amazing. Good. Okay. Now we're going to work a T-shape. And it's your choice, depending on how balanced you feel, whether you have your arms out to the side or up by your ears. So stand on one leg, soften that knee slightly, pop your other leg straight behind you so you make a straight line from head to toe. Lower down to the T-shape by hinging at your hips. Hit that T-shape, hold the position, and then explode upwards. Super. So slow down, fast up. And this is really good for helping your control coming out of backwards walkovers or flicks. You can either come up to the passe position like Aaliyah is doing, or you can keep your leg behind you, which Lissy will show you now. So as she explodes up, her leg just comes to the back of the board. Amazing. So have a go at eight to 10. And remember, it's always good to practice the opposite leg at home. Amazing, keeping those cores tight, hips square, fabulous work girls. Okay, the final exercise in this circuit is a pistol squat. So choose your leg to stand on, hold the other leg out in front, make sure the knee is stretched, the toes are pointed, and you hold on at your lower calf. Now you are going to squat on the leg that's on the 
on the wobble board. Only squat as low as you feel you can control. So some of you may do a mini squat like Lissy, and that's absolutely fine. Some of you may be able to lower all the way down so your bottom gets close to the wobble board, keeping your control. What's more important is we think about our hips being straight and square and that your kneecap as you squat stays lined up with the middle of your foot where your laces would be if you had your trainers on, okay? Try not to wobble from side to side. And again, you could do anywhere between eight to 12 of those. Amazing girls, okay. Let's have a quick break before we do a jump and a spin circuit. Okay, so our final circuit is jump, leap and spin inspired. We will begin with our jumps and our leaps. The first one is a modified tuck jump. So we're going to climb onto the board. It looks like Mercedes has a visitor who'd like to help. So climb onto the center of your board, girls, okay? Start with your arms up by your ears like you would for your jumps. Swing your arms down, bend your knees, drive up in the air so your knees straight and you rise up onto releve, pull your knee up to tuck, arms in, and then come out to land. Brill. So it's your choice how high you go up onto your releve and on landing, whether you come down onto two legs, if you're feeling a bit more wobbly, or if you land in a single leg landing position. Brilliant, girls. Let's try six to eight of those. Think about driving up quickly, core's tight, body's nice and straight, and a really strong landing position. Fantastic. These look brilliant, girls. One more. And land. Br Good recovery, Aaliyah. Okay, so number two for jumps and leaps is a modified change leg split. So stand on your wobble board and you want to stand on the leg that is the opposite one to the one you kick forwards in your change leg leap. So if you swing your right leg forwards, first of all, for your change leg, you'd stand on your left leg and vice versa. So the girls are going to swing one leg forwards like they would for their change leg, swing it back with a straight knee and then bend their knee to land. Super. And repeat, so fast, swing forwards, swing back, keep tight, bend the knee to land, two, three. Beautiful, Lizzie. Good, girls, keep nice and balanced. If you're super controlled, as you swing your leg, you can rise up onto releve, so it challenges your ankle stability a little bit more. And then the heel lowers back to the floor as you land. Excellent, Leah. Very nice, Mercedes. Well done. Let's do one more. Good. And remember, it's always good to practice both sides, so you're symmetrical. So the last leap we will try is a change leg quarter. So this is the most challenging of them all, and it's the same as last time. You stand on the leg that would not swing forwards to begin with. So standing on one leg, swing the leg forwards, swing it out, do a quarter turn, and come down to land. So quarter turn, leg comes out to the side, and down to land like you would for your change leg. Quarter. Try and keep those bodies up nice and tall. Make the knees straight, point and extend those feet. That's it, try to wobble as little as possible. If you feel controlled, you can drive up onto your tiptoes as you swing. And equally, you can come down onto one leg as you land if you feel super stable. Wow, Aaliyah, excellent. Let's try one more. Good recovery, Lissy. Brilliant. Okay, let's do some spin work. 
we will begin by doing just an upright pivot turn. So everyone's going to stand on their boards, one foot in front of the other like they would do for beam, arms up by ears, glued by their ears, rise up onto your tiptoes and do an eight to a quarter turn towards your back leg. So if your left leg is behind, you turn to the left. If your right leg is behind, you turn to the right. Keep your core super strong. Come back to the square position. Try not to let those ankles wobble. So think about having a coin or a note under your big toe and little toe and squish them. You don't want anyone to take that money away. Super heads up. Or nice, tall, proud gymnasts. Amazing. Okay, from that position, we're going to try a squat turn. So arms up by ears. Squat down again with one foot in front of the other. As you squat down, you'll feel you go up onto releve, so your heels are lifted. And you want to do that eight to a quarter turn towards your back leg and then square yourself back up. Very nice, Mercedes. Look at that head position. Brilliant. Stretch through those elbows all the way to our fingertips so you are as tight as you can possibly be. One more. Amazing. Okay, let's try something far more tricky a squat spin preparation. So you will place the leg that you would spin on in the center of the wobble board. The other leg will be out to the side with the knee straight and the leg off the wobble board. Lift your arms to prepare for the spin. As you spin your arms, Pick the leg that's on the floor, off the floor, and bring it to join your other leg. Hold, two, three, and then take the leg back out to the side and land. Good. Think about gluing those legs together as you bring the leg in for the spin. Keep your core super strong and engaged. Try not to let your body lean. You don't want to be falling off that beam. And finish nice and strong. Super. If you can do that slow, try picking the leg up a little bit quicker and pulling in really tight. Boom. Hold. Two. Three. Out to land. Beautiful. If it's too hard on releve, you can always practice it on a flat foot to make it slightly easier. Okay, brill, Lissy, just keep those hips square. Fantastic. Okay, let's try three preps for spins. So we're going to stand behind our boards with the leg that you spin on on the center of the board, arms prepared, ready to go. We are going to drive our arms up into our spin position. Some of you may pull them in, some of you may take them up by your ears. We're going to lift the leg off the floor to a passe position. Hold, two, three, step it forwards, either onto your board or onto the floor and finish to land. Brilliant. Let's try five of those, shall we? So nice, strong preparation. Pull up. So imagine there's a balloon on top of your head lifting you to the ceiling during that spin. You're beautifully high on releve if you can. If that's too challenging, you can stay on a flat foot. That's absolutely fine. Finish, present as you land. Good. Hold, 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 Leah. Excellent. Couple more. Very nice, Lissy. Good recovery, Mercedes. Just keep those hips nice and square. Amazing. Okay. We're going to try two slightly more challenging spins and then we're done. So the first spin we're going to try is now with a leg at horizontal. So you're going to swing that leg up to the horizontal position. Hold two, three, and then come out to land. 
it's your choice whether you keep the foot that's on the wobble board flat for now and as you feel stronger and more steady you can start to rise up onto releve good job mercedes just pop that foot in the center of your board and you'll find it a little bit easier there we go try a few of those girls the leg that you're spinning on make sure it's stretched and extended as you drive up hips level and square hold that position imagine you're going round for a double wow Leo. excellent okay who's up for the final challenge who thinks they can kick to a high spin to exactly the same keep nice and straight and square as you pull up amazing try a couple think of maybe doing a half so you're not holding it for as long and then if that feels okay, hold it for a second more so you've gone round for a full or even a double. Let's have spins like Sane Weavers. Let's spin, spin, spin. Very good girls. Try not to let those ankles roll. Keep weight through the big toe and the little toe. Core tight, pull up tall. Excellent. Okay. That was amazing work, girls. We are all done. Thank you so much to Louise from Rejuvenate Physio, Mercedes, Lissy, and Alia for another brilliant session. Don't forget to tag us in your posts for the giveaway. Or if you have a private account, please send them directly. Use the hashtag balance and beam. We'll see you next week. <laughs>